much of our thought is of the past or the future. They're free of those. Before a mine is dug, they judge coins. Before vineyards, they know the excitements to come. In July, they feel December. In unbroken sunlight, they find shade. In Fana, the state where all objects dissolve, they recognize objects. The open sky drinks from their circling cup. The sun wears the gold of their generosity. When two of them meet, they are no longer two. They are one in six hundred thousand. The ocean waves are their closest likeness, when wind makes, from unity to numerous. This happened to the sun, and it broke into rays through the window, into bodies. The disk of the sun does exist, but if you see only the ray bodies, you may have doubts. The human-divine combination is a oneness. Plurality, the apparent separation into rays. Friend, we're traveling together. Throw off your tiredness. Let me show you one tiny spot of the beauty that cannot be spoken. I'm like an ant that's gotten into the granary, ludicrously happy, and trying to lug out a brain that's way too big. 249. A song about a donkey. The following is about the dangers of imitating others in your spiritual life. Meet the friend on your own. Try to dissolve out of selfishness into a voice beyond those limits. A wandering Sufi came with his donkey to a community of Sufis who were very poor. He fed the donkey and gave it water, left it with his servant, and went inside. Immediately, the group of the resident Sufis sold the donkey and bought food and candles for a feast. There was jubilation in the monastery. No more patience and three-day fasting. If you are rich and full-fed, don't laugh at the impulsiveness of the poor. They were not acting from their souls, but they were acting out of some necessity. The traveler joined in the festivities. They paid constant attention to him, caressing him, honoring him. The Sima began. There was smoke from the kitchen, dust from the feet hitting the floor, and ecstasy from the longing of the dancers. Their hands were waving, their foreheads swept low across the dais. It had been a long wait for such an occasion. Suffis always have to wait a long time for their desire. That's why they're such great eaters. The Sufi who feeds on life, though, is different, but there's only one of those. 250. In a thousand, the rest live under that one's protection. The Sima ran its course and ended. The poet began to sing a deep grief song. The donkey is gone, my son. Your donkey is gone. Everyone joined in clapping their hands and singing over and over, The donkey is gone, my son. Your donkey is gone, and the visiting Sufi sang more passionately than all the rest. Finally, it was dawn, and they parted with many goodbyes. The banquet room was empty. The man brought out his baggage and called to his servant. Where's my donkey? Look at you. What do you mean? They sold your donkey. That's how we had such a celebration. Why didn't you come and tell me? Several times I came near, but you were always singing so loudly. The donkey gone, the donkey gone, that I thought you knew. I thought you had a secret insight. Yes, it was my imitation of their joy that caused this. Even the good delight of friends is at first a reflection in you. Stay with them until it becomes a realization. The imitation here came from a man's desire to be honored. 
It deafened him to what was being so constantly said. Remember there's only one reason to do anything. A meeting with a friend is the only real payment. 25Z Elephant in the dark. Some Hindus have an elephant to show. No one here has ever seen an elephant. They bring it at night to a dark room. One by one, we go in the dark and come out saying how we experience the animal. One of us happens to touch the trunk. A water pipe kind of creature. Another, we hear, a very strong, always moving back and forth, fan animal. Another, the leg, I find it still, like a column on a temple. Another touches the curved back, a leathery throne. Another, the cleverest, feels the tusk. A rounded sword made of porcelain. He's proud of his description. Each of us touches one place and understands the whole IR that way. The palm and the fingers feeling in the dark are how the senses explore the reality of the elephant. If each of us held a candle there, and if we went in together, we could see it. 252 24 N wished for song Secret practices On secrecy The egg is Rumi's image for the private place where each individual globe of soul fruit becomes elaborately unique. Incubation and secret practices produces the lovely differences. Out of one leathery egg, a sparrow, out of a similar one, a snake. Transformations that happen on retreat, the 40-day chilla, are comparable to the changes that come during nine months in a human womb. Meditation, or any solely. Terry practice, a walk before dawn, a poem every morning, sitting on the roof at sunset gives depth and expands the soul's action. A man in prison is sent a prayer rug by his friend. What he had wanted, of course, was a file or a crowbar or a key. But he began using the rug, doing five times prayer before dawn, at noon, mid-afternoon, after sunset, and before sleep. Bowing, sitting up, bowing again, he notices an odd pattern in the weave of the rug, just at the kibla, the point, where his head touches. He studies and meditates on that pattern, gradually discovering that it is a diagram of the lock that confines him in his cell and how it works. He's able to escape, any, thing you do every day can open into the deepest spiritual place, which is freedom. A wish for song, your song, a wish for song, go through the ear to the center where sky is, where wind, where silent knowing. 253. Put seeds and cover them. Blades will sprout where you do your work. A basket of fresh bread. The Prophet Muhammad said, There is no better companion on this way than what you do. Your actions will be your best friend, or if you're cruel and selfish, your actions will be a poisonous snake that lives in your grave. But tell me, can you do the good work without a teacher? Can you even know what it is without the presence of a master? Notice how the OS livelihood requires some instruction. First comes knowledge, then the doing of the job. And much later, perhaps after you're dead, something grows from what you've done. Look for help and guidance. In whatever craft you're learning, look for a generous teacher, one who has absorbed the tradition he's in. Look for pearls and oyster shells. Learn technical skill from a craftsman. Whenever you meet genuine spiritual teachers, be gentle and polite and fair with them. 
ask them questions, and be eager for answers. Never condescend. If a master tanner wears an old, threadbare smock, that doesn't diminish his mastery. If a fine blacksmith works at the bellows in a patched apron, it doesn't affect how he bends the iron. Strip away your pride. 254. And put on humble clothes. If you want to learn theory, talk with theoreticians. That way is oral. When you learn a craft, practice it. That learning comes through the bands. If you want dervishhood, spiritual poverty, and emptiness, you must be friends with the shape. Talking about it, reading books, and doing practices don't help. Soul receives from soul the knowing. The mystery of spiritual emptiness may be living in a pilgrim's heart, and yet the knowing of it may not yet be his. Wait for the illuminating openness, as though your chest were filling with light, as when God said, Did we not expand you? Quran 94, 1. Don't look for it outside yourself. You are the source of milk. Don't milk others. There is a milk fountain inside you. Don't walk around with an empty bucket. You have a channel into the ocean, and yet you ask for water from a little pool. Beg for that love expansion. Meditate only on that, the Quran says. And he is with you. There is a basket of fresh bread on your head, and yet you go door to door asking for crusts. Knock on your inner door. No other. 57. Four. Sloshing knee deep in fresh river water, yet you keep wanting a drink from other people's water bags. Water is everywhere around you, but you see only barriers that keep you from water. 255. The horse is beneath the rider's thighs, and still he asks, where's my horse? Right there, under you. Yes, this is a horse, but where's the horse? Can't you see? Yes, I can see, but whoever saw such a horse? Mad with thirst, he can't drink from the stream running so close by his face. He's like a pearl on the deep bottom, wandering inside his shell. Where's the ocean? His mental questionings form the barrier. His physical eyesight bandages his knowing. Self-consciousness plugs his ears. Stay bewildered in God, and only that. Those of you who are scattered, simplify your worrying lives. There is one righteousness. Water the fruit trees, and don't water the thorns. Be generous to what nurtures the spirit and God's luminous reason light. Don't honor what causes dysentery and knotted up tumors. Don't feed both sides of yourself equally. The spirit and the body carry different loads and require different attention. Too often we put saddlebags on Jesus and let the donkey run loose in the pasture. Don't make the body do what the spirit is best, and don't put a big load on the spirit that the body can carry easily. When we pray alone, we are brought the desserts, and we rarely refuse them. We worship devoutly when we're with others. Hours we sit, though we get up quickly. 256. After a few minutes, when we pray alone, we hurry down the gullet of our wanting. But these qualities can change, as minerals in the ground rise inside trees and become trees. As a plant faces an animal and enters the animal, so a human can put down the heavy body baggage and be light. 
one WHO raps himself. God called the Prophet Muhammad Muslim.